Hello all, welcome to my channel. In case you are watching for the first time, this is a channel on engineering studies focusing more on electrical science. Please check description link for more videos. Also please like, share and subscribe. Do click on the bell icon to get notified as I upload new video on every week. I also have one more channel related to competitive examination preparation. Please support it by sharing with your friends. You can find the link in the description box. In this video, I will be discussing basic terminologies which are related to sensors and transducer. I would like to welcome you the playlist of sensors and transducer. Let's get understand the following terminologies which are most important in the area of sensors and transducers. As you can able to see sensitivity, linearity, resolution, hysteresis, accuracy and repeatability. These are the popular terms which are commonly used in, in the area of sensors and transducers. Now let's get un understand what is sensitivity first. So moving on to the discussion, let's understand what is the definition of sensitivity. A measure of smallest signal the instrument can measure or you can call it as the lowest range setting of the instrument. You can consider one example. We, ha we are having a meter. The maximum range of the meter is 10 volt. Up to 10 volt you can able to measure. And the smallest detectable voltage it can measure may be up to 15 millivolt. So in this situation we will call the 15 millivolt is the sensitivity of the device. For example I would like to say one more example. We are having an AC ammeter which is having the range 0 to 5 ampere. The maximum current which can able to measure is up to 5 ampere. For example, 2 milliampere is the smallest quantity which you can able to measure by using that instrument. That uh, 2 milliampere that is said to be sensitivity. I hope you understood. So resolution is one more terminology that I will be discussing afterwards. Let's get understand what do we mean by linearity. So linearity is an indicator of the consistency of the measurement over the entire range of measurement. It is one of the positive uh, factor for every type of instrument. What do we mean by linearity? That means the proportional changes in the input measurement produces the proportional changes in the output measurement. Input say that means the input and output both are directly proportional. Suppose A is the input quantity and B is the output quantity. A device is said to be linear. A measurement device is said to be linear. We can say that A and B both are directly proportional. As the A increases in parallel, B also getting increased. That is called a linearity. So you can call it as a uniform scale. Linearity that is actually followed by uniform scale. A measurement device is having uniform scale means that obeys the linearity. Okay. So let's understand about another terminology. What do we mean by resolution? Resolution can be defined in the following manner. The smallest amount of input signal changes that the instrument can be detected reliably. That means the higher the resolution means the smaller the measurement it can record. That's a speciality. It is also one of the good thing for the measurement device. If a measurement device is having high resolution means it's a positive quality. It's a positive impact. Resolution is the ability to see the fine details of the system. All the measurement device, if a measurement device is said to be good, which is having high quality, that means it should have high resolution. This ability also gives the system uh, the ability to distinguish uh, the real measurement with the noise. Okay, unwanted signal with the needed signal. So that is a bifurcation, that is called a resolution. So let us come back to one more example. For an example, an AC meter with a lowest measurement range of 10 volt may be able to measure the signal with the 1 millivolt of resolution that means uh, the smallest detectable voltage which can measure may be 15 millivolt here 15 millivolt is said to be sensitivity and 1 millivolt okay that uh, the range the measurement smallest measurement range that is 1 millivolt so we call it as 1 millivolt resolution okay so that is the difference between uh, resolution and sensitivity. That is smallest range that can be measured is called a resolution. But the smallest amount of voltage which can able to detect that is called a voltage or current. That is called a sensitivity. I hope you have understood what is the difference between sensitivity and the resolution. Okay. Next we will understand about hysteresis. You must have studied about the BH curve whenever you are studying basic electrical engineering. Uh, if I talk about the magnetic field or in the area of electromagnetism, you must have familiar about BH curve. In that also you can able to familiar uh, what is a BH, what is a hysteresis. 
ओके हिस्टोसिस कर्व आल्सो यू मस्ट हैव फेमिलियर इट वैरीज फ्रॉम फेरोमैग्नेटिक टू पैरामैग्नेटिक मटेरियल फ्रॉम पैरामैग्नेटिक टू डायमैग्नेटिक मटेरियल इट डिफर्स दैट यू नो राइट ओके लेट्स कम बैक टू द मीनिंग ऑफ हिस्टोसिस इन द एरिया ऑफ मेजरमेंट्स द हिस्टोसिस इज अ फिनोमिनन अंडर व्हिच द मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट शोस डिफरेंट आउटपुट इफेक्ट्स ड्यूरिंग लोडिंग एंड अनलोडिंग सो डेफिनेटली ड्यूरिंग लोडिंग एट द टाइम ऑफ मेजरमेंट एट द टाइम ऑफ Uh, no measurement system i mean loading and unloading what might be the status of the measurement what about the status of output okay output will be deferred the hysteresis results from the inelastic quality of an element or a device so let me see the hysteresis curve here actually you can able to see the hysteresis curve the graph shows output reading versus the measured variable so depends on the loop you can able to see a closed loop this path is called hysteresis curve actually for a good measurement device which is which shows less hysteresis if the quality of the device is poor means we will be having the high amount of hysteresis curve clear so area you have to calculate so the hysteresis loss is also matters a lot if you calculate the area you will be getting the hysteresis loss high area means uh, the quality of the device is not fine let's get understand about what do you mean by accuracy accuracy is one of the major role in every type of measurement device suppose accuracy is the ability of the instrument to measure the accurate reading or accurate value that means it is the closeness of the measured value to a true or standard value the accuracy can be obtained by taking the small reading so this is the way how to identify the accuracy okay for example there will be a standard value already one standard value will be set so you are going to measure uh, different readings and uh, checking the closeness of the standard value okay so that is called accuracy some instrument it is written that 0.1 percentage accuracy or 0.2 percentage accuracy how it is close uh, it is closer to the true value or standard value that is called accuracy what do you mean by repeatability for example the consider a device it is better to take a reading with the uh, five or 10 times finally take the average then only you will understand uh, how the actual reading that is uh, how the actual value which is closer to the true value it is a closeness of the agreement between the results of the successive measurement of the same measure when carried out under the same condition for the measurement please to underline uh, the successive measurement because you will be taking n number of reading and uh, finally you are taking the average okay the measurements are taken by a single person or instrument on the same item under the same conditions and uh, short term time so that is called a repeatability suppose if you are having 10 readings okay for example when you are getting 0.1 ampere 0.11 ampere 0.12 ampere 0.13 ampere finally you are going to take the average this process is called a repeatability okay so in this session we have discussed about what is the different terminologies which are used in sensors and transducers such as repeatability then accuracy what is a hysteresis importance of hysteresis resolution linearity sensitivity etc hope this terminology will be helpful for understanding more on sensors and transducers if you are having any queries please to put up in the comment box surely i will revert finally thank you for watching this video